Well, I'm going to try to do another fish report here. Um, I apologize for the environmental noise, river noise, the wind noise. Hopefully my voice will come through on that if I speak up a little bit. But anyways, this past week has been a big change in what's been going on. We went into, as I mentioned in my last report, we expected a change in the fishing conditions and everything else with the other front. Well, that front came through and it hit us hard. Between the um, rainfall that we got out of the weather front and then the lake effect rain, we got about two and a half inches, almost three inches up here. Now, they didn't increase the water flows uh, from the dam, but still running at um, 250 CFS. But we did have a considerable amount of runoff. I think right now the Pine Gauge, Pineville Gauge is still over 500 CFS. It, it did hit like six, a little over 600, maybe seven, I can't remember, so don't quote me on that. It got, we got a lot of runoff. It also caused the water temperatures to just crash. And we were in the mid 60s, now we're in the upper 50s, mid 50s. And um, we're gonna have some cool nights. We're gonna have some good 50 degree water temperatures. On that Saturday when it rained, and in the afternoon, the fish came in. Ricky was out with a with a couple fish, a couple of our clients, and they got absolutely what is Rick says the only dry spot they had on them on Saturday with the bottom of their feet. But the fish came through. They had a really good day, despite the right you know, the trash in the river from the rising water flows. They did very well. A bunch of fish moved in. All those salmon are now up in the upper fly zone. However. Right now I'm in the bottom end of the Ducks and Salmon Run and steelhead fishing is slowly improving. Well, we got to get in here, we got to cover water. Um, there, there's just not a lot of fish in one spot so it's a coverage game. So we're fishing through a lot of water to get our bites. So I think that's how it's going to be because there's not a lot of spawning activity down here to hold these fish in one spot and build the numbers up. So the fish are trickling through so it's a coverage game. Fish through a spot, you get you know, if you don't find any life, move on. If you do, work it a little bit until it kind of gets quiet. Then get out of there and get on to the next spot. Just keep moving. Because the fish are moving, but there's not a lot of fish. So we got to kind of keep moving so we can intercept them. So that's been kind of the game down here um, on the DSR. There's still some salmon. We're still bumping into salmon. There's some old moldy rotten salmon in some of the spawning spots. And you will find some steelhead hanging in there once in a while, but just not a lot. And we're still finding a few brown trout also, which is great. But the um, DSR now is turning into a coverage game. You want to fish through a lot of water. You don't want to camp in one pool unless it's really happening. The uh, upper river, in fact, Rick's been fishing the fly zones. They're full of salmon. There's a lot of salmon in the upper fly zone and even the lower fly zone. There's a, those fish blew through this river and stacked up in the, um, upper, in the fly zones. There's also some brown trout and there's some steelhead up there. So they're starting to pick up some trout. Um, some steelhead and um, brown trout around all this stuff up there. There's some decent looking fish and there's some really ratty. So you got a full spectrum in that, that whole spawn cycle up there with the salmon. So for flies, down here on the DSR we're still running some. We're having really good luck with intruders. I mean some big intruders, but generally we're keeping right around that three and a half, four and a half inch length. Um, it's kind of like potluck. Try it, see if they'll eat it. You know, Kelvin's, I think he's right over there. He's running some sort of big egg second leech right now, trying to see if he can scare one up, um, get a grab, and a swing. So, it's, like I said, it's a coverage game, so we're fishing through the water fast. Uh, we also um, did pretty well down here, shifting over two egg flies. You know, and these steelhead just love to eat eggs, so the egg bite is on. So, we've been doing some, um, right now, our best color has been orange. There's an orange egg beater. I got a video. I'm tying egg flies and I do the egg beater in there, but a nice orange. We've been using size eights because the fish are so hot, we need some iron to hang on to these fish. And they're eating the eights just fine. So we're feeding it to them. But even still down here, we're swinging eggs so I can leech some big intruders. Then when I get a little crab and I think there's a fish around, I've been trying the egg, um, fishing the egg drift and the egg bite. That's pretty strong down at the bottom end. Up top, the egg bite for the trout. Brown trout and steelhead is on. I mean, that's about all they want is eggs. So you're going to want to have your favorite egg flies up there. And the same deal, we're using egg beaters up there, um, an orange and some um, some um, burnt orange butter rum has been working pretty good too. And some liquid robux. When the fish get really finicky, we've been going to like um, Oregon cheese, nuclear robux, and having some success with that. And we're having to drop our tippet down. Now down here, we're getting away with 10, swinging at 12. Up top, you're definitely going to want to use eight, so be careful when you get these hookups, those fish will break you off. They're, um, they're pretty hot. So that's kind of what's been going on. 
A um, couple little tips. Now that we're done, we're done pretty much chasing salmon, we're mostly steelhead. Back those drags off. Run them a little lighter because those fish, when they hit, they're just going to rip. And if you get the drags turned down for salmon, you're, those fish will just pull off. So fish a little lighter drag. And when you're drifting eggs or drifting buggers and doing that more drift, back off and fish a little lighter tippet and you'll get some good bites that way. Just be mindful every once in a while you're going to pick up a really grumpy salmon and, nah, you put some pressure on them, hang out, they'll get tired eventually. So that's um, the tip right there. So going forward, I expect to see more steelhead um, coming in on a regular basis. Our steelhead fishing should be improving almost daily. I would suspect because the water temperature is going to be good. we got some weather coming in later in this week. We're talking about some more cold stuff and some lake effect rains. That never hurts because that keeps the water temperature down in that, in that 50 degree range, which is where we need to be right now. Uh, see, anything else I can think of? Not really. Just cover some water. And if you want a lot of action, go to the top of the river. If you want to swing and pick up a few steelhead, um, fish the bottom end of the river right now. There's not a lot of salmon down here, so the uh, swing bite's pretty good. I'm still waiting on my delivery and hats, and imagine here, I should have showed you, but we got fly boxes still. Um, I'll be on the river here for another couple of Rick, um, weeks, and Rick will be, um, George will be here right through November, so they'll have them on them. And we're working on a way so people can kind of call up or send me an email and um, get, get a hat and boxes to you in the future. But we're still waiting on the hats to come in, unfortunately. These days it's hard to get stuff. So that's about it. Um, once again, um, hit that little subscribe button and that bell icon. I keep promising to put up a video. I got one sitting in the editing program. Um, just need a little bit more content and I can get it together. So I'm hoping by the weekend that'll be up. By the weekend, I hope. We'll see how it goes. You know, it's hard to do video work when you're on the river every day. Um, until then, folks, like I said, help us out. Hit the subscribe button. And... Um, once again, I'll see you on the river, and anybody that's new to the channel, welcome to the channel, and thanks for everybody that stopped me along the river and said hello, and enjoy watching the videos. Until next time, folks, good fishing. This is Jay at JPEC Guides in Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.